Hi guys, welcome to your August 2021 readings. If you would like to see the full reading, you can become a member by clicking the join button under the, under the video, or you can go over to Patreon. All of that information is in the description box. You can also go to Vimeo and get the readings individually, or you can get them as a package deal. Another a couple ways that you can um, support me while I'm healing, uh, we're having a couple of benefits this month. One is going to be on August 8th. We're going to have three tarot readers live on the Fearless Intuition channel. It'll be $30 a question. You can pick your tarot reader as well. Also, um, we're having a benefit on August 15th, astrology benefit. There's going to be four really amazing astrologers talking about um, all, all sorts of different things, synastry and composite charts, planetary engagement, Saturn and Pluto. Um, it's going to be really, really fun, and you get to ask them your own astrology questions. If you would like to get the virtual tickets to that private event, you can go to my website, fearlessintuition.net, or go directly underneath in the description box and reserve your ticket there for the virtual event. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful August, and enjoy your readings. Bye. Hi, Libra. Welcome to your August. 2021 reading. Um, this year went by really, really fast. Yeah. So we're back to doing the monthly readings. Um, your August astrology. So Mercury is moving really, really fast through Leo. Mercury goes into Leo tonight. I'm doing this video on the 27th of July. So Mercury goes really fast through Leo and gets into Virgo on August 11th and then literally 19 days only spending 19 days in not even three full weeks in Virgo and then going to your sign on August 30th where it's going to be there until November 5th so August is gonna like fly right by you'll probably be way too busy hanging out with your friends and chatting things up to even realize how fast it goes um, but there are a few things that you've got to pay attention to with this mercury flying through Leo and flying through Virgo because things could get very um, chaotic very quickly so really paying attention to like all of your details and i and the funny thing is is i'm a lot of the things that when mercury is going this fast i would say the same things about a mercury retrograde too which that's why mercury is going to be in your sign for two months <laughs> really like two months and a week um it'll be in retrograde so but you know really paying very close attention to the details because a Mercury in Leo doesn't really pay attention to the details. They see things as like in fleeting moments of time. I'm a, my Mercury is in Leo and it's like, like what, like the attention span <laughs> is not, it doesn't even exist with a Mercury in Leo. Um, and then we get to Mercury in Virgo where the attention span wants to be there and wants to exist, but it's, it's so busy trying to be perfect that it, it'll mess up. It can mess up on the details and stuff as well. So, and, and so, you know, really like, um, not being mean to yourself is going to be a really big thing. Like really pay attention to how, like those words that you're saying to yourself, if you're being harder on yourself than you should be in August, like those are the things that I want you to pay attention to because um, if you have slip ups like that's just and you know really that's like what it comes down to is like slip ups are going to happen because things are going to be moving so fast and Mercury is going to be like aspecting nearly everybody in the sky throughout the entire like there's not going to I mean he's just he's just going to be super busy and as we all are like super busy um, and I think that, you know, if there are things that you've been waiting for to happen for you, I think that August is a very good time for that kind of energy to be created. 
I don't think, because, you know, I mean, there's just so much that you've been working on and there's so much that you've been doing for yourself. Okay, right, all right. And um, when I said that, I was like, of course there are things that can come to you. Of course, of course, here we are. The Five of Pentacles. And then we have the World. So those were the first two cards that came out. And What's really interesting is I feel like that what is what this is actually saying, even if you feel like you're in a five of pentacles, not feeling like you're good enough, not feeling like you have enough, not feeling like anything is really working out for you, even if you're in a five of pentacles state of mind, I feel like with the world right next to it that that's ending. But... Um, August can be, it feels like it's going to be very emotional. It feels like it's going to be like um, one of those months that are kind of might feel like a roller coaster. That's, I think that that's probably fair to say with everything that's going on, that's going to be going on in the skies. And rushing into anything is not going to be a good thing so now we have the queen of cups and we have the king of cups so we have definitely have a water sign here can be male can be female this could be representing you and somebody else or this could be representing two different people however that's resonating for you but there's definitely a water sign here there and there's like heightened emotions um Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. There's an opportunity on the horizon. And like, even as I'm talking about this, I feel like my stomach is like getting all fiery and it feels very like you can kind of anticipate what's coming. And that might be the emotional part that you can sort of anticipate what's coming. But the Knight of Swords is telling me that you cannot... Um, rush into this opportunity that's being given to you. So you might be starting the month in the Five of Pentacles and ending the month in the Ace of Wands. Fair enough to say? Um, Because it feels like there's that pressure and Mercury is going to be in a Kazemi um, on the first day of August opposing Saturn. And so we're gonna start the month off feeling very restricted wanting to like burst open but feeling very restricted at the same time and um you know that's all happening in your you know the area of friends and collective and humanitarian so you may feel very stagnant in the beginning of the month and then by the end of the month actually be able to see the things that are coming up 